Well, my story begins just right after high school graduation. At one point in time, I was, I was sleeping on the park bench, and a fellow right beside me, he was like, and, you know, asked me questions like, young man, how'd you end up here? You know, nowhere to turn to, nowhere to go. So he told me, you know, why, why don't you come um, with me down to the shelter? You know, I was kind of skeptical about going there. And I felt I was grateful to get a bed to sleep for, you know, at, for the time being. And so um, there was a note left on the bed I was um, assigned to. And case manager, see me at 3.30, Mr. Leonard Hampton. And so he finally contacted me. And so when I went in the office and met him. You know, I'll never forget, you know, he looked at me and said, what is your story? And I, I told him, I said, you know, after high school graduation, got through out my house after graduation. He said, okay, um, what else? That's, that's it. And he said, come with me right now. <laughs> 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 and so um, he um, walked me over to Miss Daniel's office. You know, um, she sat me down. She said, what, what, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go to school. You know, that, that's my main goal. I want, I want to be a, you know, a college graduate, you know. I'm the first one to finish high school, and I wanted to be the first one with a, um, a college degree. He said, okay. <laughs> I rolled in college and started taking classes, and um, I finally um, moved out the shelter. You know, everything happened for me so fast because I utilized all, you know, the resources that were available for me, and I was so grateful. My whole purpose, you know, now in life, is to um, drive and achieve goals well beyond I thought possible when I first became homeless. You know, I came there a baby now, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I left there a full-grown man understanding yes, of everything sir. now. Yes.